Uh, yeah, I still need to find a good fucking intro. This is a new, uh, new little indie game I saw called, uh, The Liar Princess and the Blind Prince. I don't know why it wants me to continue. I haven't fucking played this before. Yeah, see, no data. What the hell? I have no idea what this game is. I just know it looked fucking adorable. So, you know, here we are. Uh, create a bookmark. Yeah, well. Ooh. I do enjoy me that red. You know, red. I have red hair. So I might go with that. But I do like being in the center. I always like picking two. Now we're going to do the red. I got to keep the theme. Hopefully this game is voice acting because I have the reading ability of a five-year-old. Well, this is a tiny tale of love in a faraway land. Hey, what a perfect game to play on Valentine's Day. I'm lonely. Once upon a time, there was a kingdom surrounded by a deep, dark forest. Those eyes do not look like they're in the right spot. The forest was a frightening place filled with beasts and ruled by a powerful witch. Even during the day, the forest could be as dark as a winter as the winter night. Because of this, humans rarely ventured inside. So when I specified voice acting, I should have specified English voice acting. Because I still have to read this. As terrible as the forest as terrible as the forest was, a beautiful singing voice would always pierce the darkness when the moon shone. The voice belonged to a large wolf. She would proudly sing toward the moon high atone a cliff every night. But the moon doesn't shine every night. Contradicting yourself. The wolf singing drew in an unforeseen admirer, a human prince from the kingdom surrounded by the forest. Every night the prince would venture into the scary forest just to hear the be just to hear the beautiful song. Oh, I keep cutting her off. Oh, he's clapping. One night when the wolf finished singing, the prince applauded. The voice's identity was hidden because of the cliff, but this only piqued the prince's curiosity. Why are the eye placements so fucked up? The wolf glanced at the prince. Wolves are me man eaters. This is a lie, after all. What stupid prey, she thought. I should eat him now that I've finished singing. Your eyes are not where they belong. However, the prince had innocently applauded the wolf, who had never before been praised for her singing. She hesitated at first, but for some reason she soon grew fond of it and didn't feel like eating him. That's good for him. Yeah, I'll go with that title. Why the fuck not? For several more nights, this wolf sang her song, always looking forward to the prince's applause. I'm doing shit. <laughs> 
But the wolf thought if he finds out that I'm a monster, he'll be scared and he won't come listening to me sing anymore. So every night after her song, the wolf would hear the prince's applause and ret retreat into the deep, dark forest. I should actually let the words form before I start speaking them. These nights continued even as the seasons changed. On a night like any other, the wolf sang her song toward the moon. It was the same quiet evening for her. However, tonight was a special night for the prince. He entered the forest filled with determination. Oh shit, I'm playing fucking Undertale. I'm sorry, this is not what this is meant to be. He wanted to see the identity of the singing voice with his own two eyes. The prince climbed, I'm sorry, climbed the cliff, his heart fell, his heart full. The prince climbed the cliff, his heart full. Okay. The wolf didn't notice anything unusual at first, but when she was done singing, she didn't hear the applaud that always came after. Word. She pondered and wondered and glanced down below. What? Why was the prince coming so close to her? No! He'll hate me if you... He sees me, the wolf panicked. No one should see what I really look like. You really should get those eyes looked at, I swear. She extended her large paw to cover the prince's eyes. But instead, her claws accidentally tore at the prince's eyes. No! Jesus, that's brutal! The, rune prince, the rune wounded prince slipped from the cliff. The startled wolf thought if a human falls from this height and hurriedly, hurriedly seized the prince's arm. At the same time, the terrified prince felt the same beastly presence on his arm as the one that had just scratched out his eyes. Which increases dread tenfold. Oh my god! This is supposed to be adorable! The prince screamed and struggled, desperate to escape the wolf's clutches. The wolf, alarmed by his yells, accidentally let his arms slip through her grasp. The prince plummeted down to the cliff, but then... Thump. He landed safely on some bushes that were not there previously. Had injured his eyes. Oh, God. Who the fuck is this guy? A nearby soldier from the kingdom rushed over to the prince. The soldier had heard his screams and had come to see the commotion. The prince must have been hurt by the monster up above. The soldier quickly fired. I said that with absolutely no emotion. The wolf was concerned about the prince, but after being barraged by arrows, she was forced to escape into the forest. The wounded prince began to gradually lose consciousness. The terrible memory of claws in his eyes and the beast's grip on his arms became engraved in his mind. Well, that was wholesome. As several nights later, okay.
Wow. The prince, now blind, had brought disappointment and shame into the royal family. His parents locked him away in the castle tower. What assholes. The wolf was concerned about the prince and overheard some soldiers in the castle say that he had been locked away. That's awful, she thought, angrily. And she snuck into the tower to check on him. Completely ignoring the fact she just took out his fucking eyes. Oh, why? Oh. First encounter. Okay, I guess there's achievements in this game, despite the fact this isn't on Xbox. I'm pretty sure this game's not on Xbox. You fool! I can jump! No. I can't get over the fucking eye placement, I swear. Okay. I'm not exactly sure what that said because this game thought it was a good idea to put a fucking foreground in. What's up? Someone and friends playing Tetris 99. The wolf came across a cold room and saw the distressed prince sitting inside. Okay. The prince sensed someone nearby and raised his face. The large claw, a large cloth was wrapped around his eyes as if to hide something shameful and dirty. Honestly, his parents are fucking assholes. Prince, the wolf said uncertainly. That voice, the singer in the forest, the prince said. He can recognize me by my voice, the wolf thought. Uh, yeah, that's right, the wolf responded. I was attacked by a monster in the forest, the prince said. But I'm glad that you're alright. The prince smiled a bit with relief. The wolf felt her chest ache when she looked at his ragged figure. Thank you for coming, but how did you know I was here? The wolf didn't know how to respond to that question. I, I'm a princess from a nearby kingdom, the wolf lied, remembering that the prince couldn't see her. I said I wanted to visit the ill prince, and they let me in. Anyway, forget that, I couldn't, I can't believe that you're trapped in here. But I was attacked. But I, I was attacked by a vicious monster, and my face is awful. My vision is gone. Eyes have nothing to do with your face. I can't wander outside. I'm forbidden from showing my face in public ever again. The prince said, his head hanged sadly. His head hanging sadly. That's sad. Let's ask the witch of the forest if she can hear your, heal your eyes. The prince looked dumbfounded upon hearing the idea. The witch, you mean the witch of the forest, like the ones from the storybooks? Storybook, I'm not sure, but the witch can grant all wishes she can fix you. The witch lives deep within the forest, I could take you there. The wolf was excited at the the wolf was excited at the prospect. The, the prince's head continued hanging. It'd be hard to keep me it it it'd be hard to keep to take me deep inside the forest and the monster that rendered me blind. I can still feel its claws on me. The prince can continue his shoulders trembling. The wolf dropped her gaze upon hearing his words. She looked at her paws. All she saw were sharp claws that were made for hurting others. I wanted to take the prince from here, the wolf thought, but I can't hold his hands with these monster claws. Monstrous claws. Determined, she clasped her claws quietly and stepped closer to the prince. 
And she didn't move it between cutscenes. I'll take in the force to see the witch. The prince slowly raises his hand in wolf's voice, but just wait here a bit. I'll be back shortly. She then fled the castle and ran into the forest. She ran all night through the forest. The sun was rising just as she arrived to the witch's house. The witch of the forest turned her gaze as a sudden. Oh, what a rare customer. A man-eating wolf coming all the way here. What's the, what's this about? I wish to become a human. There's someone I want to see. The witch let out a hearty laugh. She, sly wolves rarely said such things. A man-eating wolf become a human. How amusing. But why on earth? Never mind. You need... No need to divulge the details. I believe I already know why. The wolf growled at the witch's mockery. The witch prodded the wolf's nose, the latter looking ready to bite any time, but of course I shall grant your wish. Hmm, but you know what I need, yes? Strange glowing spheres appeared out of nowhere. The witch pulled one of her pulled one to her inside, admiring it. Beautiful, each one differs from the other, all unique gems, the sphere's vivid glow pulsing in the witch's palm. The witch was a collector of the was a collector with a rather crude temperament. In return for granting wishes, she took the Oh the requester's most cherished possession and turned them into crystals. The most beautiful Hearts are the ones willing to lose what's important to them in order to get what they want. So what will your heart reveal to me? The witch appeared in the... Yes, how about your singing voice as compensation? Oh. My singing voice. The wolf knew that the witch had a wicked streak and she knew she had to sacrifice the most important thing to her. Still, her heart trembled doubtfully. Her beautiful singing voice of the prince praised or the chance to hold his hands. Okay, I'll give you my singing voice in exchange. The mouth of the witch's mask curled up as if given an evil grin. Alright, if you say so, game. Excellent. Pay me to accept it. I didn't expect to get this from one so prideful, but I suppose life is full of surprises. Well, I'm in a good mood, so I'll give you a little extra something. Wait. Witch's eye tw twinkled dubiously. I'll give you whatever form you want. What do you want? The wolf remembered that sh she had told the prince. I want to look like a princess. The wolf chuckled softly at the wolf's choice. My, my, what a lovely idea. But you're sure of that. You and your human friend will be devoured by monsters before you ever get here. The wolf was unnerved and hung her head. Ashamed that the witch could see through her see how futile her plan was. Didn't think about that, did you? Hmm. Even clever wolves can be dull sometimes. I'll modify the spell so you can return to human form at any time. The magical light appeared as she began the ritual. Why is this bitch being kind after being a bitch? The magical light wrapped around the wolf's body, the part of the light gathered near the witch. I received your singing voice as a toll, the witch said in an eerie, with an eerie smile. The light around the wolf suddenly shone bright and then faded. But I'm still a wolf, the wolf, the wolf looks in, it's a complicated spell, give your body one night to get used to it. Her task complete, the wolf departed from her house, however, the witch stopped her in her tracks. I almost forgot, Bureau of the Moonlight, yes, if you fall under it, you will immediately turn back into a wolf. Okay, thank you. Your fucking spells kinda sucks then. Soon I'll be human and hold the prince's hand. I'm so excited, full of hope. The wolf eagerly anticipated returning to the castle tower where the prince waited. Switch is kind of a bitch, which is appropriate because they rhyme. After leaving the witch's house, the wolf made the journey back to the castle and she re recalled the witch's word about turning to the prince. It says, and it had already been one night. The prince was in sight. The wolf focus, focus on transforming into a, the princess. Hold X. Oh. Oh, well, I'm adorable. 
Oh. Uh, game? Game? The princess called out to the prince. Prince, princess, you came back. Yes, thank you, but... Don't worry, I worked hard to be able to get you out. Princess said brightly, trying to ease the prince. Alright, she thought, I have to get him out of the cell. I can destroy the rise of the wolf, but the prince needs to get back before I can... Yeah. Uh, could you step back a little? Oh, okay, despite the prince's confusion and her instructions, he stepped back from the bars. As the princess gets closer to the prince, take the prince's hand with Y. Ah! The princess timidly grasped the prince's tiny, warm hand. Though he was scared, he weakly grasped her back. I gave up my singing voice to be human, she thought. I'm feeling joyful, but I'm glad I did. Let's go to the witch of the forest. Make sure you stay close to me, okay? Uh, the prince. Okay. Oh my god, she more or less just fucking drags him. Let's take the fucking teddy bear! Aw! Uh, wait. See? He smiles when you're holding her hand. Oh, she smiles when they're holding hands. This game is just fucking adorable. They entered the deadly forest to travel to the witch's house and heal the prince, so that... And so their journey finally began. Even this game realized this was taking for fucking ever. This is 22 fucking minutes. God damn. Ah, this is really adorable. She's so happy. He looks so confused. Ah. Stay here. Uh, so if you remember the like, um, like the Bowsetta craze like last year, um, the wolf in human form reminds me of the the Chain Chomp version. Or the fuck they call her Chain Chomp at or some shit like that. Uh, for some odd reason, I'm getting that vibe from her. B okay, bees jump. Can I jump with the prince? Oh, I can! Oh, this game's so adorable. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Come here. Oh! Okay, I guess I found a secret. God, this game looks absolutely gorgeous. Uh... Stay right there. Oh, okay. Uh, stay right here. Oh, she can't. It's too small of an area for her. Aw, oh, this game needs way more, like, fucking... This game absolutely deserves to be, um, I shouldn't be the only one playing this game is what I'm trying to say. I doubt I am, but still. Ah, oh, it's just so cute. Uh, can I jump on you? Nope. Wait. Oh, all right, bastard. I was gonna let you live, but you tried to fucking attack me, so, you know. Fledgling Hunter. Such a cute, adorable little game. God, why, why are loading screens always white? 
I'm playing in a completely dark room and this game is pretty dark too. Like fucking god damn it. Uh you can move uh, with A. Hello. I can't get over the fucking eyes. Honestly, they're in such a stupid position. I bought this game off a complete whim because it just looked cool. And I'm kind of glad I got it. Uh-oh. If more than... If more than three people stand on it, it will collapse. The wolf weighs the same as two people. So that's still three people. That's not more than three people. Okay, game. Oh my god, you can jump way higher as the fucking wolf. Oh. Oh, is it? Oh, it's timed. Okay. Oh, don't jump. Okay. Oh, why does it have health? It's a box. Did I find a secret? Secret? Huh. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god! I'm dead! That's not cool. You sit here, I'm gonna be dumb and try that again. Okay. I was trying to figure out if I could skip shit. I can't. Oh. Haha. -ha. Fuck you. Where'd you go? Oh, shit. So it. Because he ran through me when I was the wolf. So it was like... Am I like the most... Am I the apex predator of this area, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I know. This is stupid. I'm tr trying this wasting a bunch of time. But guess what? I'm, I'm determined, if nothing else. See, I'm smart. I'm going to wait now. I learn. Fucker. Shouldn't have charged so blindly. Okay. Don't know what those do. So. I died and wasted time for nothing. Supposedly. What happened if I try to grab his hand as the wolf? I'd probably just fucking kill him, honestly. Uh oh, I'm a werewolf. I mean, I turned into a wolf. No? Okay. He doesn't know what's going on. No, he's smiling. No, he's. Okay. They talked to each other during their journey. No, they didn't. She mentioned that she enjoyed running around and he confided that he liked reading. 
I love books about flowers, the prince said. I can't leave the castle that often, so I thought it'd be nice to finally see flowers in the outside world. While they were talking, this thing I've killed a hundred times went after his fucking head. There was a rustle sound. A small monster appeared from the bushes and left towards the prince. How does he know what's going on? And she looks terrified, which is, you know, it's appropriate. The princess had barely escaped. The bite by the monster. The princess quickly transformed into the wolf and brushed the monster away. Everything happened so fast, and for the prince, he could not see what was going on. He crouched down in the spot, shaking in fear. He couldn't help it. He'd recently had a scary experience in the forest. We may have been a part of that. Uh, the wolf panicked. I've got to do something, but she had no idea what to do for the frightened prince. She desperately glanced around. A beautiful flower field caught her eye. She looked at it and remembered what the prince had said. Oh, of course. I can give him flowers. Oh, that's neat. Oh, I straight up can't even... Oh, yeah, because he's fucking... Terrified. Press A. Okay. Crush the prince. Give him the flower. Here you go. Prince, this is for you. The princess handed a flower to the prince. A flower it smells so nice. Yeah, you said you love books about flowers. The prince smiled happily at the princess's words. Thank you. I hope that. I wonder what kind of flower it is. I can't see it though, but I'm more excited to see it once my eyes are healed. She was relieved to see him happier. I want to thank you. I know you can read a lot of books. Want to hear a story I read one time? The princess didn't expect the prince to be so happy. She felt like she was already becoming closer to him. I'll pick more flowers when I see another flower field. The princess thought, smiling. Uh. Look, okay, I didn't fucking face plant this time. No. Let's go with this. Oh, fuck. I'm really good at face playing these two characters. These two. Oh, no. Only he face planted. <gasps> no. Oh, she's so sad. I'm sorry. No, why is this? No. I shouldn't have to grab that. Oh. The hell is that? that? Oh. Oh, that turtle looks kind of adorable like everything else in this game. I shall return. That was fast.
Yes. He is very unconcerned with the fact that I keep leaving. Oh no. He There's nothing here. God damn it. Yep. I was wondering why there was two here. Like, is there a way to avoid that, or is that just gonna happen? Okay. I didn't trust it. Where's she getting the crown from? Where's she getting the clothes from? Two people hold the prince's hand, ask him to walk. Oh. I mean, the footing might break with two people on it. Hold the prince's hand. Oh. No, I need you to walk farther. Fuck. I don't know what I was supposed to do there, honestly. Oh, I see it now. Is there a way to determine what is going to break and what isn't? Uh, okay. That jump is probably unnecessary on all honesty. Oh, what? Okay. That was no bueno. Yeah. Ah. How? No! Fuck! A bastard came out of nowhere. This is terrible. Yeah. The second I hit the button, the second I held the button down, I knew. How would I don't make the same mistake twice in a row? Oh yeah, different story when my fucking wolf, isn't it? Asshole. That one's just going for it. Did you see him? He, he was... That one, right there. He, he tried. Oh. No! This fall damage! Fuck!
Oh. I don't... That seemed like a bug. Oh, fuck, God, mother... The hell. Oh, she's... It's even sadder when she's human. Oh, no. Uh, let's not be stupid, me. Let's, let's actually play the smart. Hey, you. How are you doing? Oh, no. He's confused. Oh, no, he's not. Oh, thank God. There is some shenanigans I'm going to have to pull off here. Please be far enough. Cool. Thought I killed myself. I would seriously like to know what those are for. Let's be a wolf for this. Ah, <laughs> uh, hell. Yeah. No, I was wondering if that was going to happen. Why didn't he jump through it? I did. This game's going to take forever because I'm an idiot. leave you there. I'm dead. Yep. There you go. Oh, there's another one. Okay. Hey, what do you want? <gasps> Flower. Get bent, bitch. Here you go. She looks so happy. Also, her teeth are still sharp. I've broken the wa walking animation in this game twice already. Oh, can't do it again. Okay. Aww. 
Hey, I'm gonna do something terrible to you. Oh, fuck. I feel bad for doing that, but I think this is the intended way. Forgot I'm a wolf. Hell yeah. They walked for what seemed like an eternity and didn't notice how dark it had gotten. Both of them were exhausted from the dangers of the forest. Just as their bellies began to rumble, they found a place where they could take a rest. Let's stop here for a bit. So the princess, she, and she started preparing dinner. Ta-da! The princess took out some meat, her favorite food. Go on, take a bite. It's raw. She now read about me. I'm sure the prince would like it too. The princess thought, smiling. Thinking the prince put the meat in his mouth and tilted his head in confusion. Uh, this tastes... It's fresh rabbit meat. It's yummy, isn't it? The prince said proudly, but... Wait, this is raw meat. Blah, the pecan prince bad. The princess thought he would enjoy it. Looked at him with a blank expression on her face. S sorry, we don't eat raw meat in the castle. The princess felt bad for the prince. Oh, really? How do you eat meat? Well, we first cook it over fire. We get sick if it's eaten raw. The prince of fire. Oh, you used that. She was afraid of it because it became tense just from thinking of it. She looks real tense in that photo. I see her. I'll go find some fruit then. And with that, the princess managed to avoid further discussion of fire with the prince. So this is going to end one of two ways. And I'm expecting it to end with the... Oh, we found fruit. I'm expecting it to end with the... I'm expecting it to end with the wolf, uh... The witch being like, you know what, fucking here's your voice back, and here you get to stay human, and here's your eyes, and nothing from you. You know, because this seems like a game that's going to end happy, happy, and I hope it does. I'm expecting to see giant fucking spiders in this game, because why the fuck wouldn't we? Oh well. And this art style, I probably won't be bothered by it. Oh, neat. Let's place you here. Oh, no. Oh, thank God. Yay! Jumping mushrooms. Why is there a skip stage? Why, why, why would you do this? Don't do this. Oh. Oh! These are the cutscenes. Huh. Nice! Oh, that's what those did. Oh, okay. Beat the game. Collect all the flowers. Be hundred enemies. Clear tears in the starry sky without killing enemies. Okay. 
313. Hold hands with the prince a hundred times. I okay. Look at the moon with the prince. I he even gets his eyes back. Let the prince die for the first time. It's fucking harsh. Clear, hang moss without killing. Let the prince die 30 times. Why? This game's fucking sadistic. Oh, God. I don't want this on Xbox now. I'm going to actually have to go for the achievements. Oh, but you know what? If, if they're like... Stay there for a minute. Hmm... But what's down there? You know what? The better question probably should have been what's up there. Yeah, I know. Fuck. Oh, this game has quite a bit of... I mean, this, game, this game's probably like a few hours long at most, but okay. Maybe like two or three. I'm okay with that. You know what? It's, it's a cute little adorable game. I have hit the dreaded puzzle. Damn it. I'm gonna go under the impression that there's only one ending to this game.
No? The fuck? Okay, so I have to restart. Good. Let's leave you here, and let's actually do this the proper way now. This is such a simple... Granted, this thing doesn't say you can hit it. I wondered what this was for when I saw it the first time. they call a genius is this gonna oh it's something about but at least let me read it okay So I take it there's five in each area. Going off the stage select list, there's five in each area. Is there a flower in each area? Huh. Of our appearance, and she's a wish the forest her motif includes things found on uh, the front of the tip. Theoriness of barn era and the unknown. It's based to her design. This is... I really like this. Here you are. Thank you. Aw. There are five points. No pattern or decoration. Uh, motif of crown uh, based on the monster's eye. Ow. That was my finger. Aw. Oh, the little thing in the bottom right-hand corner. Oh, in the bottom left-hand corner. Uh, all teeth are the same length. Ah. Uh. Do not make her a Mo character. The fuck's a Mo character? <laughs> Eyes in the back. Wait, wait. Do they not express express why the eyes are where they are? Oh, looks Camaro like. I, I'll, okay, I'll give it to you. I don't want to, but I will. This is really adorable. Fuck. Aha! This is gonna keep coming out of there, aren't they? Yep. So can the wolf fall from any distance and survive? Whoops. Fucking yes. Strong. Oh. Don't know why I couldn't just beat the shit out of them to begin with. You know, I know I've been talking about the appearance of this game a lot because, I mean, that was the drawing factor of it, but this game's music's actually really good. Oh. Yeah, she gets really pissed off. Well, not pissed off. She just doesn't like when you try to do that. 
<laughs> Good, I have to aim. Good old face plop. Hmm. Patience, young me. He said as he was 23. Oh, fuck. So do these deaths where it's me and the prince, do those count or... You know, doing... I, I see how I ended up with 100. <laughs> uh, so fast. Don't zoom out. I need to fucking see. <laughs> Why did I let go of his hand? Oh, come here. So this is basically an escort mission game, but uh, it's not as annoying as typical. Okay, let's properly aim. Hmm. Oh, there's a delay. There we go. Yeah, I don't... Hmm. Oh, shit. Whoa! There's some red coming out of these bitches. Anything else? No? Okay. Um. Cool. Oh, it's another flower. Oh. Gee, I wonder how you get these achievements. I almost have to like... They're gonna spawn re way too fast. Hell, if the fall doesn't kill me. Yeah, this is assuming the fall's not gonna kill me. Okay. That ended a lot better than I expected it to. No. Okay, I see what's going on here. <laughs> Fucking thud. It's so good. Wow, my. Losing my voice.
Oh, it took. Oh. Okay. But how do I? Oh, I want a flower. Yeah, I know. I really want that flower. What the fuck? Okay. Hell yeah. I'm a smart cookie. I also might be a dumb idiot. I don't know. We'll figure that out soon. The fuck kind of flower is this? Granted, I didn't know what the last two flowers were. I don't know why I'm questioning this one. Uh, fuck. Ooh. Shit. God, even if I could get over there, I'd fucking kill myself. Oh, she won't drop the rose that I fucking soft lock myself. Yeah, I know what I did wrong. Whoops. Mm. It's amazing how even when I'm right, I'm wrong. I'll say I've did this once already. He might walk off it. He should have, but okay. All because I wanted a flower. because I need this to survive. Stay here real quick. He said as if he can hear me. I actually like my throat's starting to hurt for some reason. Which is rare, because I've talked for like seven hours straight and haven't had this issue. Hey, it's amazing what happens when I'm not stupid. I do this thing called learning. It's fucking weird. Aw. He's tappy. Goat family design? What? <laughs> what? 
what are these things? Ah. <laughs> uh. That was kind of adorable. Darkness fell, the witch's house was still relatively far away. They began searching for a place to spend the night. After wandering for a bit, they found an unstable cabin that was covered from top to bottom with mushroom. Oh. It's pretty rickety. Maybe we could stay for just one night, the princess was said anxiously. They firmly held hands and entered the cabin. Oh. The inside of the cabin was even darker than the forest, but... Only a few blurry shells were visible. The princess squinted her eyes to see what they were. Oh, so many corpses. The princess realized that the shadows were dead goats laying on the floor, laying all over the floor. Aw. Corpses. The prince was stunned. Perfect timing. I'm hungry anyway. Let's eat them for dinner tonight. What? The princess... The prince, believing that the corpses were human, was taken back by the princess's outrageous suggestion. The princess left... Uh, uh, the princess left the prince in confusion and said to assemble one of the goats. Oh. Just as the wolf's large fangs were about to sink into the goat's stomach, he let out a weak cry. The prin uh, princess, the human's still alive. The wolf clicked her tongue and reluctantly stopped eating and reluctantly stopped eating the goat. Nature's law was the to eat the prey after all. She said, uh, so he thinks they're human beings. She thought, I guess I can't do it anything about that. You could say they're not human? The prince gotta let go and listen. Princess, people are starving, you can't move, maybe we can help him. The wolf wanted to be closer to the prince, so she begrudgingly agreed. They set out to find some food for the goats. Oh. Oh, yes, that was a mistake. Damn. Controller just. Don't know what happened there. Okay. Shit. Why didn't she just say, like, yeah, they're not human? Yep. Because knowing this game and knowing me, I'm going to kill the prince. If I drop this on his fucking skull. already died enough. I don't need to add my own stupidity to it. Granted, half, my own stupidity is half the reason I've died. I'm gonna guess there's a mushroom below us. Hey, what a surprise.
What are you? You're like a frog lizard bird thing? I don't fucking know. Like a frog and a lizard and dr dr insect with the fl wings? I don't. It's weird. I wonder what's up there. It couldn't possibly be... The... Game? That was one. They're gonna have one of those as a trap one of these times, I swear to God, and I'm gonna fall for it and be pissed off. Good. Patience me. That's way too low. Hey! I'll take it. Oh! No! What the fuck? Did he miss it? Come on! <laughs> Uh-oh. That's the most bullshit death I've had in a game. I don't know why that let go. God, that was fucking stupid. At least that was took one time. the next thing it did he's moles okay what the fuck doesn't uh but when they try to eat something their mouths open a fissure forms and they open their mouths wide similar to our uh it's pretty shocking yeah because they look so ad so adorable and then, like, you see their maws, and you're like, fuck that. Oh, okay. Phone thing's going off. Uh, animation design, designed to grow attached to the character. <laughs> they jump back. They're cute. And I want 50 of them. I don't even know when my phone's going off. Like, there's not. The sound's off. I see you. Why can't you just eat these things? Like, I feel like a hassle has been created for no reason. I mean, why can't we just like have her eat, eat them? <laughs> you, you still gotta go that way, Chief. Hate to break it to you. I'm okay.
Follow me. Oh shit! Hmm. Yeah, that's what I figured. Oh, you can make those a princess, okay. The only reason I did that as the wolf is I figured in worst case scenario I was just gonna... I... I thought I was gonna fall down and just hit, like hit the mushroom. Trust me, my dumbass. I honestly figured I was gonna die. Hey, man, it sucks when you're not the fucking top of the food chain, doesn't it, motherfucker? I don't know if they're doing that to be annoying or adorable. Like when you hit the fucking ground. Like the game makes you hit the ground. Like unless I'm just holding the button down too long. I don't know. They returned to the camp with a lot of me and gave it to the goats. I got help. I got a lot. The princess said, proudly help yourself. The prince quickly here. Please wait. We haven't cooked the meat yet. Goats are monsters. So they love raw meat, but the prince still thought they were humans. That's when you turn and say, they're not human. If I mention how monsters eat raw, the prince said, oh, hell no, I'm a monster. She said, play along with the story. Okay, oh, we'd better cook the meat then, but I've never made a fire. So please teach me how to do it. She managed to avoid a potentially awkward situation. The princess tried to fall. Oh, the prince's destruction, it's like the fire, but oh no. Oh no, I'm scared. The princess was still deathly afraid of fire. She began to cry and asked the prince for help. Aw. The prince wasn't confident that he could make the, a fire because of his blindness, but he was happy that she had asked him for help, so he agreed. Where the fuck did we get all this meat from? Oh, maybe it was killing all the enemies. Okay. Okay, I'll give it a shot. The prince summoned a little courage for the princess. Take the prince next to the lantern. Ask him for a request. Uh, in a spot where the fire go. Wait, if you place the lantern near a spot where fire has gone out, you can light the spot with fire again. Oh. The meat turned out perfectly. The ghosts were utterly delighted and immediately ate all of it. Cooked me is amazing, huh? Thanks, you helped us. Ma, we nearly starved to death. Ma. One of the goats said, thanking the two. I'm glad. Can we stay the night? The princess asked. Of course, Ma. It's a little dirty and overrun by Russians, though, Ma. The goats took them into their home. The long day finally came to a close. The princess was exhausted and was up. The nocturnal wolf could not sleep. Oh, the prince was exhausted. The restless wolf wandered outside the cabin and found one of the goats chasing a rabbit. The rabbit searched me nimbly and the goat wasn't able to catch it. Oh, hi, wolf. Hunting's hard, ma. 
But you got so much me in the blink of eye, you're pretty good, ma. The goat said innocently praising the wolf's hunting skills. The wolf shrugged off the compliment. She was worried the prince could overhear the goat calling her a wolf, so she tried to cut the conversation short. Oh, that human, is he emergency ration? <laughs> ma said frankly, which startled the wolf. Not a bad idea, but we should start doing that. So we don't starve, ma. But if I were you, I'd get a fatter human. He's so skinny. He's be a midnight snack, ma. Normally, the wolf would engage in this banter as eating human common amongst monsters, but now she'd, uh, she became alarmed with the goat's words. No, no, the prince is uh, inadvertently denied. The goat didn't let her blunder go unnoticed. Uh, could it be you want to get along with humans? Ma. The wolf knew the goat knew the truth, but she refused to admit it and kept quiet. You know, it's impossible for him to be along. It sounds as if she couldn't be friends with the prince. The wolf opened her mouth to speak, but no words came out. You heard of it too, didn't you, Ma? Monsters gobble up humans, humans kill monsters, Ma. The, goat. the wolf hung her head as the goat continued. No good will come from this, Ma. But you did save us. So if it's something you really want, I'll support you. Good luck, Ma. The goat returned to the cabin. With the kid. The prince that they just tried to eat. The wolf curled up and tried to sleep as the goat's words were played endlessly in her mind. She felt uneasy up until then. She's happy to hold the prince's hands as the princess, believing there was nothing to fear. Uh, but her true friend was a monster that the prince hated, and he still didn't know that she was one that would blind in him if he ever found out. Oh, if he ever found out, it'll be okay, the wolf told herself. If I can just keep this up a little longer, she didn't sleep that night. The next morning. Oh, the prince and the prince of the goats thanked them and prayed for their safe travels. Good luck, Ma. Don't eat him by accident, you asshole. The prince didn't understand, but she did. I won't eat him, the prince thought. Princess thought. He knew the calm, anxious heart. She pulled the, the prince's hand and set off again. Eat up, goats. Uh, seems that the prince can hold the stone. Hell yeah. Strong little fucker, isn't he? Oh god, he's stuck in his animation again. This is cool. Was that another chapter? Yeah, it was. I didn't get shit that time. Um. Oh, because of how short that is. I think I'm actually going to call it here. Um, This is a really fun game, and I really do love it. Um. I'll finish it tomorrow. I think tomorrow I'm going to finish this, and then... Um, I know the Resident Evil Ghost Survivors DLC comes out, and I, I think I'm gonna play through those too. But um, you know, that's for then. I'll I'll figure it out along the way. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you next time.